Today, I wanna to dive into how to actually scale to zero to $50,000 per month. And the reason why I say that is because in a lot of my videos, I talk about scaling to, you know, we work with brands scaling to 50 to 100K a month in revenue, and that's what works best. But how does one actually get to 50K per month in revenue? And I wanna go over some of those core criteria right now in this video. If you don't know who I am, again, my name is Nick Terrio. I run an e-com growth agency. I work with brands who typically do roughly 50K to 100K a month in revenue. Or if you have a large amount of liquid capital to invest into a brand then i work with those brands and basically all of these videos are completely for free for you guys i don't have anything to sell with you sell to you guys besides that if you take a lot of value you implement these things you scale to your business forward and if you're basically tired of doing all the day-to-day -day management of running ads then that's when we come on board and help you grow and scale your business further with that being said make sure you like button and hit that subscribe button for new videos every monday wednesday and friday and let's dive into the video so going from zero to fifty thousand dollars per month and I also want to give a quick shout out to Lenny. I know he's always, you know, hitting up our videos. He's always one of the first few people liking and commenting and everything like that. Uh, so make sure to show some love to Lenny. And he's actually the one that basically gave us kind of the idea of actually this specific video. So I want to dive further into it. So first things first, again, we have done this already for multiple other brands. This is one brand where we came into our business one roughly 7K a month. We have them scale up to $77,000 per month. Another brand that was one roughly $16,000 per month. And then we came and helped them scale up to $200,000 per month. And there's three key things that going from zero to $50,000 per month that you need to dial in. Because if you don't dial these three things in, then you're going to be in for a rough time. And those three things are your offer, your systems, and your cash flow. So let's talk a few about those for a second. And I'm gonna show you some of the problems that we as an agency have experienced and that why we've kind of set this threshold. Okay. So number one, obviously your offer. And I've had clients before who had a seasonal product. For example, I took on a client that was doing roughly hundred to $300,000 per month in revenue. And we came in with their business roughly February slash March. And as soon as we came on board, next two months was very brutal they struggled to scale and in fact they were losing revenue on a monthly basis as first you look at it from the perspective of okay it's just the agency but when you look at it from the wider kind of take a step back and look at it they were scaling up with sweatshirts going into the summer with the usa primary demographic so even if it's during the summer you sweatshirts or sales are going to go down because no one's looking to buy a sweatshirt or the market total market share of that market is significantly lower. So some clients we work with, we really want to look at is the offer seasonal, it, you know, cause that plays an effect of when we come on board. If you have just winter clothing, I don't want to take you on in the summer, unless you know that the first couple of months until we get to winter may not be that great. Next thing I've had clients with a really strong offer, but a very, very, very small market for it. Okay. And they weren't charging enough. So for example, we had this one client selling this course with a very specific type of product. And I've even talked to my personal mentor who has extreme amount of knowledge in the personal branding info product space. And he was like, Hey, this is a terrible offer. <laughs> we refused to listen, even though we were profitable on day one and doing like a three X return on ad spend. But we quickly saw that how that market share of people wanting to start that type of business quickly didn't dwindle the way and we struggled to scale and ultimately in the part ways with that client next one is just a terrible offer altogether had a client come to me who was literally trying to sell an iphone 4 when everyone wanted an iphone 14. so offer is super important that's the first thing because the offer everything else is built around the offer the supply chain the inventory the ads everything else so the offers number one, and I'm not talking about that bullshit offer the way you look at it from the perspective of, oh, well, Nick, I'm offering 10% off and everyone else is offering 5% off. I have a better offer. Yes, but your product fucking sucks because it's an iPhone 4 when everyone wants an iPhone 14. So offer is everything. Offer is not just, you know, looking at 10% off, 20% off, $10 off, bonus item. Offer is looking at everything you're getting in exchange for that price that I pay, okay? So that's what an offer is. Not 10% off, not 20% off. It's all of that plus, is your product even fucking good? Because if it's not, then everything else 
falls behind it. And is it a product that's only going to sell in the seasonal? Because look, quite frankly, if you're selling winter gear, scaling into the summer, you will have buyers. Yes, but Nick, I see people outside wearing, uh, jo you know, hoodies and stuff like that. Yes, you'll still have buyers. It's just your market share is smaller and you have a smaller market share. Due to a smaller market share, you can't scale up as much as you originally could. Next thing, systems. I've had clients that had terrible systems. So think about it like this. You know, this particular brand right here doing 350 orders a, day, uh, a month compared to 3,000 orders a month. We 10x their business in terms of orders and customer service tickets also 10x. All right, if you're getting you know, 350 orders, that's roughly 10 orders a day. Now we're getting roughly 100 orders a day. If you're getting one, you know, let's just say with these 354, you're, you're getting one, um, you know, like customer service ticket a day, okay? Now all of a sudden you're getting 10 a day. Your amplification of everything as you scale happens. And if your systems are not dialed in, it's just gonna be a bigger problem, okay? Same thing with supply chain management. If you don't know how to properly plan your expenses and stuff like that because think about it if you purchase a thousand dollars worth of inventory and you scale your business and sell all that thousand inventory in the first month you're like holy shit nick we have four thousand dollars in revenue cool a lot of that profit you made you're gonna need to reinvest back into the business to purchase more inventory to scale the next month so again a lot of things that comes out in supply chain management as well as just shipping logistics and all that and it's the six it's the systems that are big in there and lastly cash flow same reason why I, I just said you scale up, you make it, you make two thousand in profit, but then you realize the next month, oh wait, I need three thousand dollars to purchase that next round of inventory. So all the profit I made is going back to in to inventory. So if you have terrible cash flow, that's also gonna be a mistake. I've had a client who owed money to a, a huge celebrity, and he just he was terrible with his money. He just kept on getting into debt, okay, and not from an ethical perspective, like like just. He was bad at managing his money, okay? And because of that, he had to stop his ads, couldn't pay us anymore, because it eventually hit that point of breaking point of where like, oh fuck, I can't pay anything because I have no cash flow. So all of this is super important here to get dialed in below $50,000. And usually brands that are above $50,000 don't typically have these problems. And that's why I'm going over all this. Next thing, um, or just going a little bit further into everything. So again, offer, I have a video on offer. Basically the core, premises is, is that are you selling an iphone 4 when everyone wants an iphone 14 okay are you selling an iphone 4 right now with a very 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 small market share when everyone wants an iphone 14 which is a huge market share full video on this 17 minutes where i talk all about this next thing is systems so there's four kind of key parts of systems that i look at for brands below 50k per month one of them is ads management how well are you just like managing all the ads and stuff in the account um, i have a full video on this i'm gonna show you guys in a second creative production are you actually able to actually get creative content through photo shoot, UGC, things like that? Do you have a system for that? Supply chain management. You know, if I if I go into your business right now and scale your business to 100K a month, like let's say for example, you're at 10K a month, and I scale your business to 100K a month. Could you even handle the sheer volume of orders and stuff like that before shit started to break? Before, oh fuck, Nick, I don't have enough customer service agents to respond to all these customer messages. I don't have enough room for all this inventory or I can't get inventory for another 90 days and you just sold all of our inventory out. So what does that supply chain management look like? And then next thing, customer service. Are you hammered on customer service all day to where you can't focus attention on other parts of your business? So further going into it, again, creative production, I have a full video on this. So again, like I said, I have a system for creative production, um, at least for you guys who are doing less than 50K a month. And this is something that I highly recommend. Go and check this video out, how to create Facebook ads that convert in 2022. Really big, so I'm gonna go into a 20 minute long video of literally how to you know, fulfill your creative production. And then next thing, ads management. Here's the system we use for ads management in terms of like how to run dynamic creatives on Facebook ads and like how to do proper creative testing, all of that. Everything you need to succeed with Facebook ads. Now, cash flow. again, going back to our cash flow. another reason why we typically work with brands on 50k to 100k a month is that our agency fee starts at five thousand dollars per month so it's difficult for brands doing 10k a month to pay us 5k a month okay and i also like to filter out people 
by, hey, I don't want you committing to us unless you can pay us literally for three months in a row without having to worry about anything. Because I have had brands reach out to us doing 10K a month and like, well, if I just pay Nick 5K one month, then I can gamble my money and maybe he'll give me to 100K next month. And I don't want those type of people. I want people that are long-term thinking. I want people that are realistic with 20% a month, month over month growth for over a few years versus, hey, I want to do 100% growth in a month and then next month, oh fuck, I can't fulfill anything because of everything else is fucked. Next thing we do work with, we actually do work with a few brands doing less than 50K a month, but these are people with large amounts of cash. These are people that, hey, I have a million dollars cash in the bank, I'm starting this brand. I have a 50, 60K to invest into it over the next few months. Can you help us out? And that's a different type of client that we do cater to as well. Next thing is inventory expenses. Being able to plan cash flow for inventory expenses, shipping expenses as well, team expenses. There's a lot of different other things that happen in the e-com business, not those little shitty drop shipping stores that a lot of you guys are running, but actual e-com brand that where there's a lot of different things that are involved. And it's important to understand all that cash flow inside the business. So again, usually brands doing 50 to 100K a month, they have a lot of this figured out. Okay. And that's where we come in. And what specifically do we help business owners with? So we help business owners save time and scale faster. Okay, let me explain. So a lot of our clients, a lot of the owners are typically the people that are running the ads when we come in. It's kind of rare that, you know, another agency was running it. We even we even do have, we, we do have a lot of clients that other agencies were running it too. So either the owner was running the ads themselves and we're the first agency they work with because they're just tired like, you know, spending four to five hours every day on ads while they're trying to also manage inventory, while they're trying to manage customer service, while they're trying to design the next product line becomes very, very, very difficult for them to do and performance starts to suffer. So we come in and take that workload off of them. Next thing is certain agencies have worked with them in the past that didn't deliver the results promised. And we come in and we obviously, you know, change that for them. So we're basically a full team of trusted advertisers. And we come in and we continue to dig deeper into your customer avatar, continue to dig deeper in your messaging and continue to splinter up the messaging to be able to continue to appeal to your market as you start going through a few months of advertising when things really start to, you know, um, I, I say a, a really great advertiser is someone who can keep brand performance up for longer than a year. Okay. Because usually an advertiser can get some few quick wins in the first three months, six months, things might look a little different then a year will look completely different because over a year they exaggerated or exhausted all their like initial ideas. And now they're really digging deeper into analysis of their customer avatar and really digging deeper into certain messaging and stuff like that, that works at scale. And then lastly, we also do a profit share on top of our 5k per month. So that way we're as equally invested into your business as you are from growing it for a month over month profit perspective as well. So, but yeah, so that's where exactly where we come in. This is why we work with brands to be doing 50K to 100K a month, unless they have a large pool of cash in the bank and they're willing to lose cash for a few months to make the business profitable. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it kind of helped you out uh, understand why we do the 50K per month and also hope you understand of what needs to go into effect to help you get there faster. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Again, my name is Nick Terrio. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.